Uh, yes, nice to see everyone here today. Uh, yes, you guys are going to go on the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, let's start with prayer. What was it, Jesus? What do you feel? Yes, Father God, thank you for this opportunity to be here with you this morning. Thank you for the youth that we have here that are able to lead and lead us in worship this morning. I thank you for the growth in their hearts as they learn to worship you and to bring glory and honor to you. And God, I pray that through the worship this morning that our hearts will be opened and we be ready to hear from you from your word. And Father God, I pray that you would speak through me that in your words, not mine, as we as we hear from you this morning. Amen. Amen. Jesus of peace is on Amen. Wait, so a couple weeks ago, as we were preparing for this youth service, we started by preparing our hearts as a worship team and what it means to worship God. We asked some questions. What is the purpose of worship? And then how do we prepare our hearts to worship God? So as we were doing this, we realized that to truly worship God from our hearts, it really helps to understand what exactly God has done for us. And when we really understand all that God's done for us, our hearts just naturally overflow with worship. And when we recognize that we love because He first loves us, and then when we confess our sins to Him, He is faithful to forgive us our sins and purify us. And so when we then really understand God's love and forgiveness for us, that's where our worship overflows from. But we also have a simple nature. Ampak imamo še, sorry. The sinful nature. Aha, and of course, that loves to get in the way of all that, right? <laughs> in a perfect world, we would just have a perfect relationship with God, and we would worship Him perfectly. And that day will come when we go to God, when we're in heaven. But until then, we have a few roadblocks, a few things that get in the way of that. So we're gonna, today we're going to talk about three of these ways that our sinful nature gets in the way of our connection to God. So this is when we are either rebellious, religious, or apathetic. And then for each of these we're going to see how God leads us out of that. And how he breaks down the walls, these walls, so that we can be can reconnect with him in our relationship and worship. Okay, so first we're going to talk about rebellion. So we all have times where we just want to do our own thing, where we have a little rebellion turning up right? And if we're rebelling against something, it's usually because we think we have a better way or we want to do it our own way. There's a reason behind it, right? 
to So then that often comes from our tribe. In to pomeni da to iskaja iz našega ponosa. Because in our tribe we I know what's best for me. Ker v svojem ponosu si reči mojo jaslin, kaj naj bo za me. Or I don't care what they say because I've got, I'm going to do my own thing. A pa ni mi mat kaj oni reči, ker jaz ne kaj je prvim v naredu zbrih po svoje. So we end up putting ourselves before our priorities in front of God and other people. Pre naše prioritete postavimo pred Boga in pred tudi. And in a way, we're putting ourselves in the place of God. In na nek način postavljamo sami sebe na mesto Boga. Also, sometimes we just want to enjoy our sin. A pa po drugim besedam časih služimo našo grehu. Sin can be fun for a moment. Ker a ne greh je lahko celo zabavno za neki časa. Until the natural consequences catch up with us. Kler nas ne ujamejo te naravne posledice greha. And one of those consequences is it separates us from God. In ene z teh naravnih posledic je, da nas odvaja od Boga. It also separates us from the people around us. Ravno tako nas odvaja od ljudi, ki so blizu nas. So what happens to you or me torej, kar se zbudi meni ali tebi when we separate ourselves from God and then separate ourselves from the people around us ko se odvojimo od Boga in ko se odvojimo od ljudi okoli nas we end up alone. Potem se znajdemo sami. And so we think, I'm going to rest, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to do my thing. And we say, well, I'm going to do my thing, I'm going to do my thing, I'm going to do my thing. But we end up all alone, not enjoying anything. And then we end up all alone, and we end up all alone, and we end up all alone, and we end up all alone. So the opposite, oh, and then in the end, we just end up destroying us. In the end, we end up all alone, and we end up all alone. So the opposite of prideful rebellion is repentance, humble submission, and obedience to our loving God. So returning to God starts with repentance. So in Psalm 139, 23-24 we read, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. So from my experience, when I pray or confess to God or ask Him to talk to me about something, I either hear nothing or I hear quickly. So right now, we're just going to take a moment, and if God has anything to say quickly, we'll get a nice So we're all going to take just a second and ask God if there's to search our hearts and tell us if there's anything on our hearts that we have unconfessed. If you heard anything, you probably heard it already. Torej, če ti ima Bog kaj zapovedat, potem si že verjetno slišal tega. And so the next stage of that is the repentance. In naslednji korak je potem spokorjenje. And repentance is not just saying, I'm sorry, and you need to forgive. Spokorjenje ni da reče, no, Bog, sorry, ne, da smo bilo prav. Repentance is also turning away from what we were doing, going in a different direction. To pomeni, da obrtneš smeri greš, da začeš tudi drugače dela, kot si jih dosledil, da pomeni, da reš v drugo smer. It's committing your heart to do things a different way, from now on. Pomeni, da se v srcu odločiš, da zdaj naprej boš delal drugače. It doesn't mean that we're obviously going to do it perfectly and never fall back, but our heart intent is to go in a different direction. To ne pomeni, da bomo zdaj popolnoma to vse čas počeli, da nikoli ne bomo bo spodrstali, ampak v srcu imamo jasen namenjen odločitev. Isaiah 
So now let's take just a moment and repent of this, put it behind us, take that burden and guilt off of us, and turn our tracks. <laughs> So after we repent of whatever sin the Holy Spirit is convicting us of, God calls us to continue in humble submission to His path for us. As we read in James 4, 6, and 7, Kako smo brali Janes 4, 6, 7? Ja, ja, ja. ja, ja. Uh, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves then, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Bog se prosetno upira, po nižnji pa daje milost. Podvrzite se tvoje Bogu, vodiču pa se oprite, in bo od vas pobedni. Približajte se Bogu, So when we humble, humble ourselves unto God, then He is gracious with us. And I don't know about you, but I would much rather be under God's grace than in the other part of the verse where He is um, opposing the proud. So we then see it from here that God promises blessing for our continued obedience. In Jeremiah 20, uh, 7 23, it says, Obey me, and I will be your God, and you will be my people. Walk in all the ways I command you, that it may go well with you. Poslušajte moj glas, tako bom vaš Bog in vi boste moje ljudstvo. Hodite po vse poti, ki vam jo zapovedujo, da vam bo dobro. Okay, so back for rebellion, then our God's path for us out of rebellion and into His grace and rest. Božja pot, a ne iz upornosti, v njegove zmilost in počitak. Is repentance, humble submission and obedience, continued obedience. Je spokojenje, a ne punižna podrejenost in konstantna poslušnost. Ok. So now our next fall between us and God is, can often be religion. Naslednji zita ne med nami in med Bogom je lahko religija, religioznost. And religion can often become a prison around us. In religioznost je lahko v bistvu zapor kot nas. So it's like, wait, religion, isn't that good? Like, we're all religious people, right? Ko, a ni religioznost neki dobro, da se nismo vsi, a ne religiozni ljudi. Well, it's kind of funny when people find out, like, why I'm hearing what I do, they say, oh, so you're religious. A ne, kateri ljudje slišijo, kaj jaz počnem rečejo, a ja, pa si ti religiozen. I say, no, 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 I don't like religion. Ne, 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 jaz ne maram religije. Then, wait, what? Why don't you like it? You pass it or something? Ja, nisem ti, kao kao ni medijski pastor. How do you not like religion? Kako da ti ni všeč religija? So then I, I kind of throw them off that a little bit and gives me an opportunity to explain the difference between religion and a relationship with God. So religion is defined as a particular system of faith and worship. Religiozno se definirana kot vročen sistem verovanja in češčenja. 
So there are many religious systems in this world, right? So what makes ours different? How do we know for sure that we are the right religion and worshiping the one and only true God? Well, one thing that we have is that every other religion on this planet has some form of works, good works based for your for your salvation. And we believe we are Christianity is the only religion that is the opposite of every other. Because we believe in Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 that we are saved by grace through faith, not by works. Amen. So then, so then we ask ourselves, would a good God lead us to earn our salvation through being good and perfect and doing good works? And tako se vprašamo, bi dobro Bog pričakoval za tebe od nas, da se potem odrašujemo z našimi, našim trudom in z našimi dobrimi delmi. I have had an opportunity in, uh, recently to talk with some Jehovah's Witnesses. Pred kratkim sem imel priložnost, da se se pogovarjajo z jehovnimi pričami. And they have no assurance if they've done enough or if they've been good enough or knocked on enough doors. Oni nima zagotovila, da so storili dovolj za Boga, ki so so like, well, we hope we're just we're gonna do our best, and hopefully we were good enough. But remember, God says, I have I want you to enter my peace and rest. Does that sound very peaceful and restful to think? Okay, I hope I, I hope I did enough. I I would just get up like So but because we are saved by grace. We have the freedom to serve and to love with joy and and the freedom to do our good deeds just out of the overflow of our hearts. And it overflows out of our personal relationship with God. So when people ask them, when they ask you, oh, are you religious? They say, I don't know, like, not really, I don't like religion, it's more of a prison. But I love Jesus personally. I know him personally, and the good things I do are just out of love for him. So the opposite now of religious ritual and works. Is the freedom of our salvation by grace through faith in Jesus alone. And we get this from also from Romans 10:9. So that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And so, without this personal relationship with Jesus, we're just following traditions and religious rituals. And believe it or not, there are people in Christian churches that attend every week that are not, that don't have a personal relationship with Jesus. 
Some people might think that they're saved because they go to church. Некоторые люди могут мыслить, что они грешны из-за того, как они ходят в церковь. They try to do everything the pastor says. They push and they try to set the pastor right. They give some money when it comes around. Они дают некие деньги на церковь. They try to be good people and help people. They push up with good people and they try to help people. And when we see them, they get a warm feeling in their heart. Они потенти бы так и добро чувство в сердце. You can get a warm feeling in your heart from singing along with the Beatles. A nekaj pojem je bilo dobro, bo čutke v srcu, recimo, to toplino lahko občutkaš, ko pojaš skupi z bitvi, ne? Does that mean you're saved because of the warm feeling? To me, da se vrešam sam za to, ker imaš nekaj dobre prijetne občutke. It's really important that we understand that our salvation is not from coming to church and giving money and doing the things and singing. Moramo se zavedati, da naše vrešenje ne prihaja iz njega, ker bodimo v crkvu, ker dajemo naberko, ker lepo pojemo. But as from the last verse we read, it said, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart God is with you, then you will be saved. Kako smo prebrali, da ćemo svoje ne možemo priznao, da je Jezus gospod, in boš v svojem srcu veroval, da je Bog gospod v mrzi, potem boš je vrši. So another one that is a common belief of empty religion. Je še ena, ena odgosta stvar, ne prazne religije. And a lot of us know this in our heads, but in our hearts, we still struggle with this. It's feeling like we need to, or that we're able to, earn God's love. So we know that we know enough to say, oh yeah, I'm saved by grace through Jesus. But if I'm really good, God will love me more. Ampak, če se zares potrudim, če bom res pridan, pa dober, potem me bo Bog še bolj ljubil. Is that true? Kaj to res? That's in our own sinful nature. I know that as a parent, you can be happier or less happy with your kids when they're more obedient or less obedient. V naši grešni narave, zato se tako mislimo in vemo, recimo, kot starši, da če so naši otroci pridni, potem smo bolj veseli, kar če niso tako pridni. But it doesn't mean we love them more. Ampak to ne pomeni, da jih zato kaj bolj ljubimo ali manj ljubimo. God is perfect, a perfect father, a perfect God. Bog je popoven oče in popoven Bog. And so no matter what, He loves us the same. In ne glede na to, kaj počnemo, On nas enako ljubi. So obviously we want to do good for Him. Seveda si želimo dobro delati za Nj. But it's not to earn His love. Ampak ne zato, da bi si prislužili njegovo ljubezen or earn his favor, or earn more blessings. Da bi si prislužili njegovo naklonjenost, ali pa da bi pridobili več blagoslova. Because if our, if our relationship with God, our salvation was based on our works, ker če naš odnos, če bi bil naš odnos s Bogom osnovan na naših dobrih deli, this would then lead to our pride and self-righteousness. Potem bi nas to vodilo v ponosim v samo pravičnost. We would become hypocrites, judging the others of them. Potem bi postavili hinavci in bi nekako sobili ljudi, presojili, kdo je boljši, kdo ni kako dober. In to vodi v omlikovanje in v očeščenje samega sebe. Mi se bi to vodi v omlikovanje in v očeščenje samega sebe. Mi se bi to vodi v omlikovanje in v očeščenje samega sebe. Mi se bi to vodi v omlikovanje in v očeščenje samega sebe. In to je tako vrste religija, ki nekako zapira dela ljudi v jetnike. In to je tako vrste religija, ki nekako zapira dela ljudi v jetnike. And the walls of those prisons are the rituals and the good works and the rules. Zidovi teh, te celice so, ne, rituali, pravila, dela. But we read in Psalm 51, 16 and 17. Ampak v Psalmu 51, 16 and 17 beramo. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a humble spirit. A broken and repentant heart, a God, O oh God, you will not reject. Za kaj ne hlavno daritvijo, nimaš veselja. Če bi ti namenil žalno daritev, bi je ne malo. Moja daritev Bogu je potrta duh, potrta ga in pobite ga, oziroma spokorjenega srca o Bog ne preziraš. In then in 1 Samuel 15, 22, it says, to obey is better than sacrifice. In 1 Samuel 15, 22, pravi, glej, 
u slušnosti je bojša od klavne drice, oziroma od žrtvovanja. So more than anything, what is it that God desires of us? Torej bolj kot vse drugo, česa si Bog želi od nas. It's a humble and repentant heart. Ponižno in spokojeno srce. And a desire to follow and obey Him. Želja, da mu sledimo in da ga obogamo. Otherwise our gifts and our works are empty. Ker če ne, so vsi naši dorovi in vsa naša dobra dela prazna. God doesn't need us. He doesn't need our money. Bog ne potrebuje nas, ne potrebuje našega denarja. He doesn't need us to go and do good things for other people. He'll get someone else to do it. Ne potrebuje nas, da gremo v krok in delamo dobro in dela ljudi. Vse zato lahko uporabimo v krpoli. But his, the desire of God's heart is that our heart would desire him. Pak želje Božjega srca je, da si mi njega želimo v svojem srcu na vse. Okay, so this brings us to our last challenge to overcome. To nas vodi do zadnje ga izziva, in katerega moramo premagati. That's apathy. To je apatičnost. So apathy can come from many reasons. In ta lahko pride iz mnogo različnih razlogov. It could be from past unhealed trauma. Lahko zaradi neke pretekle, neozdravljene traume. Betrayal or feeling unloved zaradi izdaje ali pa občutka, da nismo dobro ljubljeni or depressed ali zaradi depresije. And all of these can lead to us either having a callous or a numb heart. In vse to nas vodi lahko, da imamo tako otrdelo srce. Or that we harden it for our own protection. Ali pa da smo ga otrdeli za prvi zaradi naše lasne, zaradi samo zaštite. And this leaves us feeling hopeless and just giving up and not caring anymore. To nas pusti brez upanja, enako, enostavno odnehamo. And that's the apathy, it's just, eh, nothing matters out here. Apatija, ker je, ne, se prezveze, se nima smisla. Have you maybe talked to people about God and you ask them, oh, do you believe in God? In ste se že kdaj pogovarjali z ljudmi, ko jih vprašate, ej, a ti verjamaš v Boga? And they're not for God, they're not against God, they just don't care. But, eh, I'm doing my own thing, I'm fine. Ne, ne reče, da so za Boga, pa da so proti Bogu, pa reče, ne, ja, ne, vse se zdi. Ne, ne, ok. We can often have that similar apathy with other people around us as well. In pogosto, ker imamo lahko to isto vrste apatijo za drugi ljudi v koli nas. But it's important we look at where that come from, comes from, some past trauma or wounds that we're trying to guard ourselves. Ampak je pomembno, da prepoznamo, So the opposite of spiritual apathy is passionate, loving relationship with every part of our triune God. To je nasprotje pred apatičnosti pa je ne tako goreča strast za Boga. And for really the spirit, the the passionate, loving relationship with Jesus as our priest, with the God, the Father, with our Son, with the Holy Spirit as our conscience. And when we, when we have this spirit, this passionate relationship with God, we have what, what Jesus said to John 10, 10, that he says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Potem imamo to, kar pravi Jezus v Janez 10, 10. Jaz sem prišel, da bi imeli življenje in da bi ga imeli v obilju. If you're living in apathy, you're living nothing to the full. It's just everything is there. Če si apatiče, no ne, potem ti je vse tudi. Za nič ni ni tako malo. But God wants us to live a full, a joyful life. Ampak Bog želi, da živimo polno, radostno življenje. And in Jeremiah 29.11, God says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Vem za načrpe, ki jih imam z vami, govori Gospod. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Načrpe bledinje in ne na sreče, da vam da pripodnost in upanje. So, how do we find the healing then for our apathy? Kako najdemo zdravljenje za našo apatičnost? When our heart has been callous and numb and hopeless. Že omrtvelo, omrtvičeno, brez upanja. 
This is the work of God. This is the work of His Spirit. But it takes us to come to Him and ask for that. To a bond of the law, a goodness, a certain and the freedom of the God and the freedom of the And when we come to God and, and confess the things we need to and have Him heal us from our wounds. In the freedom of the God, to to the prosim o ne da nas zdravi preteči hran. Then he can lead us in that full and prosperous life. Ko mu predamo sožuljenje, potem nas lahko vodi v to obilje življenja. And it starts with what Jesus says here in Matthew 11, 28. In se potem začne z tem, kar pravi Jezus v Mateju 11, 28. It says, come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Ko pravi, pridite k meni vsi, ki ste otrujeni in obteženi. In jaz vam bom dal počitek. In Psalm 147.3, Jesus says, or it says, God says, um, He heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds. In tako pravi, v psalmu 147.3, pravi on, ki zrami potrte v srcu in obvezuje njihove rane. And then in Ezekiel 36, in potem v Ezekiju v 36, from verse 25 to 30. Od 25 to 30. Uh, says, I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from your impurities and from your idols. I will give you a new heart and will put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will, and I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. You will live in the land that I gave your forefathers. You will be my people and I will be your God. I will save you from all your uncleanness. I will call you, I will call for the grain and make it plentiful and will not bring famine upon you. I will increase the fruit of the trees and the crops of the field, so that you will no longer suffer disgrace among the nations because of famine. Pokropim vas čisto vodo, da boste očišteni. Vseh vaših nečistosti in vseh vaših malikov vas očistim. Dam vam novo srce in novega duha denem v vašo modrenost. Odstrani krmito srce z vašega telesa in vam dam veseno srce. Svojega duha denem v vašo modrenost in storim, da se boste ravnali po mojih zakonih, sadržali mojih odlokov in jih izpolnjevali. Prebivali boste v teželi, ki sem jo dal vašim očetom in boste moje ljudstvo in jaz bom vaš Bog. Vseh vaših nečistosti vas bom rešil. Poklicov bom žito in ga pomnožil. Lakote ne bom več poslal od vas. Pomnožil bom sadove delja in pridele polje, da ne boste ni polji več zaradi lakote v posmeh pred narodom. This is God's work. To je Bože delo. From verse 23 through 30, God says, I will, 12 times. It's God doing it. If you look further, earlier in the chapter, there's a, another 10 times that God says, I will. This is God's work in us. Our part is to open our hearts to Him and follow Him. And he will do the work. But it takes us coming to Him in humility. And it takes us trusting Him because how do you follow something you don't trust? Or someone you don't trust? And when God says, hey, live your life this way. You're like, oh, that looks hard. I can't do this and I have to do that. And we think, well, if we're really trusting God, then we would trust that what he's telling us is the better way and our life will be 
you know, in, in many ways easier. And so our part is just to come to him in humility and trust him and follow him. And then we see he will purify us. He will heal us. He will give us a new heart. He will save us. He will put his spirit in us. He will provide for us. And he will bless us abundantly. I've noticed a common theme in all of these three situations today. The answer is always come to Jesus and he will do the work. He will heal us and lead us and bring us to his rest. Right? So to wrap it all up, when we find ourselves being rebellious, or notice that our mind is depending on religion, or that our heart is becoming apathetic. Remember that God is lovingly leading us out of rebellion. And into repentance and the humble obedience. And then out of religious rituals to the freedom of salvation by grace and faith in Jesus alone. And from an apathetic, callous, hardened heart to healing and rest and peace through and giving us a prosperous life living to the fullest and having a loving relationship with our Father God. They're going to play some instrumental background music. And as they, as they start to play, let's take a couple minutes, each of us, and, and take a moment to accept God's gracious forgiveness. Da spremamo Božje milostno odpuščanje. And then we can take a moment to reconnect with Jesus. In predtem si lahko zanamo trenutek, da se povežemo vzaj z Jezusom. And after that we will, the rest of the a few minutes, I'll finish this prayer and then the rest of the worship team will come up and build more song. Potem bom zaključil za molitve in pa še tudi da spodinam še neke pesi. Let's take a moment now.
when we repent of our sin, help us to truly repent and not just say a shallow sorry. Give us, help us have the faith to humble ourselves to you and to follow you. Help us to see that empty religion becomes a prison. But help us to, instead of that, see our relationship with you as our first priority. And from our relationship with you and our joy and peace in you that we overflow in our love and works around us. And God, we all have hearts that have been wounded. We have relationships that we have built walls of protection for our hearts. I pray that you would that you would take away our heart of stone and give us a heart of flesh. That you would heal the wounds where we have put protection against people. And that with a soft heart, we would be able to be open and loving to all around us. And most importantly, God, that from a soft heart, we would come to you and want to know you personally.
Ce moc pa pomen pizza. Pa mogu da se dobiju pizza. Bog hvala za hrana, da lahko jemo, pa da se lahko družimo skupi na cerkov. Amen. Vsako generacijo potrebuje svojo srečanje z Bogom. Bog nima nukov, to pomeni, da mojo trost, ki smo mi vzgajali, morajo tudi sami odločati, ali si želijo iti z Bogom ali ne. Kljub vseh učen in način življenja, katero smo mi imeli, vsako generacijo mora osebno z njim srečati, se mu podrediti, reči Bog želim, da je moje življenje tebi na razpolago, da doživljajo tega izpolnitev, katero lahko sam Bog da človeku. In vidimo po svetu trenutno, če pa ne sledite, novice obstajajo na različnih konce sveta, neko novo izlitje Božjega duha posebej med mladimi. In je čudovito videti, in si ne želim, da bi bila Slovenija ali naše mladine izuzet iz tega, kar Bog dela in generacija, katera se on deguje, da bodo napredovali njegov načrt v tem svetu in da živijo zanj. To da pa za današnjo vodanje in ko mi čakamo, da še vam sledimo. Izvolite. Thank you. 